Crystal Hefner has detailed how she lost thousands of social media followers after opting to have her breast implants removed. Sharing a black and white image with her fans on Instagram, the former Playboy bunny and widow of Hugh Hefner, 35, gushed shed embraced her new modest appearance, after removing everything fake from her body. Crystal, who previously revealed she nearly died while undergoing a fat transfer in October, 2020, also shared graphs demonstrating how her social media following was slowly recovering after choosing to focus on her natural appearance. Crystal expressed gratitude for her followers that have stuck with her as she switched up her online content including deleting many old images of herself taken and refusing to pose for any more nude shoots. The blonde beauty was previously known for her busty appearance, having undergone a breast enlargement, before having her implants removed in 2016. After the last handful of years staying true to myself on social media, I feel that all the people here with me at this point actually care and are invested in my life in a positive way and for that I thank you, she began. The blonde beauty explained it's taken a total of five years to shift from not always safe for work posts to my real safe for work life. Before, she said, she was living for other people to make others happy, suffering internally in the process. Delving deeper into her metamorphosis the San Diego native mentioned that she initially grew her following during her Playboy years. She explained, I don't know whether I felt empowered by dressing scantily clad, showing cleavage, etc or if I just felt it was expected of me or what. But now I can confidently and 100% proudly say, modesty is what empowers me these days, and because it feels so much better internally, it will probably be this way for the rest of my life. Hefner added that she's deleted her old pictures and said now she's more authentic and vulnerable. I am mine, she affirmed. The 5 foot 6 in stunner got candid about her fear that her account wouldn't survive the shift, sharing screenshots of graphs from Social Blade to present her online following, explaining her numbers tanked after she stopped posting racy content. One image featured a table tracking her daily change in Instagram followers dating back to late November, 2021, with her account increasing by an average of 500 users a day. She also shared a screenshot of two line graphs to show her monthly change in users, demonstrating how she saw a huge drop in numbers over the summer, before they gradually started to recover. Explaining the changes further, Crystal continued, I was in the red. Every day. I was watching the girls that had similar pages keep posting the same scantily clad stuff and growing exponentially while I tanked hard. But now she says most days the count is growing. Now my women followers are giving the men followers a run for their money. Now I truly feel I have an army of supporters that care and see an actual soul behind the lens. For that I thank you. Crystal included screenshots of statistical charts in her post to drive her point home about the loss and gain of online supporters. As she wrapped up her heartfelt thoughts the media star thanked her fans once again and vowed to remain authentic.
I will make it my mission to try and help in all ways that I can while staying true to myself, she said. Crystal added that she'll now use her social media to focus on travels, health hurdles and general lifestyles instead of scantily clad images. I hope all of you can stay true to yourself and to what feels right for you as well, because there's a certain power you get from that you can't find anywhere else. I love you, she concluded. Crystal previously had her 34D breast implants removed in 2016, after claiming they caused a myriad of health problems. In a lengthy Instagram post she said, My breast implants slowly poisoned me. Intolerance to foods and beverages, unexplained back pain, constant neck and shoulder pain, cognitive dysfunction, brain fog, memory loss, stunted hair growth, incapacitating fatigue, burning bladder pain, low immunity, recurring infections and problems with my thyroid and adrenals. The mildest of those symptoms started a few years back. The aches, the bladder pain, brain fog, fatigue. I ignored it, labeling myself a hypochondriac, despite truly worrying that there was something wrong with me. I joked about losing my memory to age, and about getting lazy. I began to cancel appointments and shoots because everything exhausted me. Before everything went downhill I was at the gym five days a week, and always shooting and working. I've had days in 2016 when I couldn't get out of bed. I felt such despair knowing life was happening all around me but I couldn't participate. I had to miss my summer DJ residency at my favorite Vegas spot, the rehab pool at the Hard Rock Hotel. The fatigue was so severe that I could barely leave the house or drive. I was afraid to get up there in front of a crowd and go blank with brain fog. She added. I had a bunch of spare photos that have enabled me to stay active on social media for the last six months. I've tried to keep a facade of normalcy while working to figure out what was going on with my body. Once I became allergic to most every food, had intolerable pain, developed stomach issues and night sweats. I began to research. I found a holistic doctor, Dr. Farshid Raba, and was tested for everything. After I was diagnosed with Lyme disease and toxic mold, I posted about it on social media. I began to receive comments saying that my symptoms resembled breast implant illness. I found a breast implant illness website and Facebook group with almost 3,000 members. My symptoms matched theirs. The beauty went on, over time, implants, both silicone and saline, break down and wreak havoc on your body. The shell on silicone and saline implants is comprised of silicone and over 40 other toxic chemicals. Instantly I noticed my neck and shoulder pain was gone and I could breathe much better. I know I won't feel 100% overnight, she said. My implants took 8 years to make me this sick so I know it will take time to feel better. I also have other illnesses to address, but with the toxic bags removed, 
my immune system can focus on what it needs to. In January 2021, Crystal also revealed she nearly died while undergoing a fat transfer three months earlier. Writing on Instagram, she said, I had a fat transfer surgery October 16th and almost didn't make it through. I lost half the blood in my body and ended up in the hospital needing a blood transfusion. I've been slowly eating my way back to health since then and I am now finally feeling okay. I advocate for being natural since I got very ill and removed my implants and everything else toxic in my body in 2016. I should have learned my lesson the first time but I guess the universe keeps sending you the same lesson until you learn it. She continued, our culture is a trap and makes women feel terrible about themselves. Movies, 84.9% directed by men, make it worse. Social media makes it worse. Advertisements make it worse. Physically fake people make it worse, I was one of them. How our culture defines beauty makes it impossible to keep up with. Women are overly sexualized. I know from the worst kind of experience. For 10 years my value was based on how good my physical body looked. I was rewarded and made a living based on my outer appearance. To this day I need to write reminders of why I'm worthy that have nothing to do with my physical appearance to convince myself that I'm enough. Hefner continued, I feel sorry for the next generation looking up to people whose looks aren't even attainable without lots of filters, makeup, or money and women need to stop feeding into it. This is a huge slap on my own wrist for caving into this pressure. Even now in my thirties, as I thought I would have learned my lesson by now. Crystal was married to the Playboy mogul from 2012 until his death at the age of 91 in 2017. They began dating in 2009 and in December of that year she was the magazine's Playmate of the Month. On the three-year anniversary of Hugh's death she took to Instagram to reflect on their time together. Thank you for always being my greatest ally, teaching me the definition of kindness, and making me feel extremely important and adored for ten years. I will be forever grateful, she wrote underneath a photo of them.